Good morning, church. It's almost Christmas. Hi, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, I caught the live. Oh, Pastor, your highlighter. How's it going? I am here, y'all. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. It's almost that time. It's almost that time. This is our la one of our last um, Sundays of the year. Well, is it, the, it may be the last Sunday of the year. So, hi, guys. Glad to see you again. Um, I'm Michaela Pink, as some of you may know. And I am here to bring this word, honey. I'm here to bring this word. So, let's get into it. The title of this video is... Um, what's the title y'all? If he's a giver, he will never be, or if he's a, a receiver, he will never be a giver. And if you're new to my channel, then you're probably very um, familiar with this because I said this in a video that uh, kind of blew up a little bit, kind of blew up. Uh, one of my very first videos to do that. So, um, and it was called, you should never give a man anything. I know you can't see it right now. Have no idea where my videos are. <laughs> I don't know. But um, that was the title of that video. And that is where this title came from because I made this statement in that video and uh, people went wild in the comments. Um, they were all upset and, well, what if it's my husband? Well, I think you should at least give him something for his birthday but it's almost Christmas, right? Attack of the, of the pick me's is what it was because they really came for me, like in a major way. And so um, I wanted to talk about this. So this is kind of like uh, part two to that video because um, I feel like I need to expound. Then right after I make this video, my girl, we had to demote her, y'all. We had to demote our sister because uh, she's still out here wilding. I've been doing all these videos, even though you can't see them. There's almost 200 of them, trust me. Um, been doing all these videos, all this stuff. Y'all out here getting pregnant. Y'all out here uh, giving people $500,000 because it's his birthday. It's a mess. So um, you guys know that uh, I love Cardi B. Cardi B is... Uh, the bomb to me. I love her music. She's real, you know, sisterhood and I'm the woman and women's empowerment. And then she out here doing this crap, making us look bad. So, um, that was the motivation for me to go ahead and talk like about this because, um, I feel like it's necessary. So word of prayer, shall me close your eyes. Stop worrying about where my old videos are and close your eyes. We're praying. <sighs> Heavenly Jezebel. I ask that you please come down and touch all of my viewers. Please take this pick me, Barbara the Builder, want to find some love, not knowing my worth, having spirit, and leave it in 2019, Lord. We are not. We are not giving men money. We're not giving them free Lipstick on the PPs. We're not giving them free PP anymore. I pray that we banish this spirit. Cast it out in the name of Jezebel. Amen and amen. <laughs> so um, we gotta we gotta do better, y'all. We have to do better. If you are putting a man on the receiving end of a relationship, you are losing. You are losing. I don't know how many times I have to tell y'all this. It is not natural. Yes, you can buy him a little card and say thank you. Yes, you can, you know, give him a hug and show your appreciation. Yes, you can do all that. If you want to buy him a little shirt from TJ Maxx, go ahead. Go ahead. Somebody said a woman. Ain't that it? A woman, not a man. But still, you know, you can buy whatever you want for him, but don't overextend yourself. 
Don't overextend yourself. When you put a man in the seat of the receiver, the woman in the relationship will always lose. Always lose. Every single time. There's, I mean, if y'all can think of a time where a woman has been a giver to a man and it has proven to be successful for her, please put it in the comments. I am open to any suggestions. I could be totally wrong about this. For real, I understand that. There's a lot of opinions that I have that could be totally wrong. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being wrong because I enjoy learning. But this right here, <laughs> this one right here, I know to be 100% facts. I don't care who it is. I don't care what you, whoever you mentioned as long as I know them. There is no way that you can tell me a woman can be a giver to a man and it work out in her favor. Period. Never. You had women in those comments talking about, oh, well, I, me and my husband give to each other all the time. We work together. Uh-huh. You working. We're going to talk about that too today. You out here working with him. There are some women that are so strong, so much of a partner that he don't even need to get a business partner. That's a man. You work, some women work harder than two and three men. And don't you think they know that? Don't you think they know that? That's why, oh, he gonna be so in love with you for a little while. But then once all that love wears off, once them stacks have been stacked, once he has the money that he feels like he needs to take care of a woman that he really wants, guess what he gonna do with you, Miss Workhorse? We work together, he love me. Guess what he gonna do? Hmm. Okay, y'all. Oh, and I have to thank the uh, choir for those beautiful selections while Pastor was away. Uh, my favorite one was Oh Holy Night. That's my favorite Christmas song, y'all. I love Oh Holy Night. <laughs> oh Holy Night. Man, that's my favorite Christmas song. Anyway, let's talk about one of the biggest hoes we all know, Miss Cardi B. Let's get into it. She is the poster child for all strippers. All strippers. Somebody says, I don't agree at all. Let's get into it. Come on, Shaw Bombay. She says, I don't agree at all, but maybe $500,000 is equal to a birthday card in her net worth. We got to remember that Cardi B is a multimillionaire. I mean, I wouldn't do it, but maybe this is why she's doing it. No, it's not why she's doing it. Hang on, hang on, Miss Shy Bombay. I guarantee you I'm going to change your mind. Because if you feel like, five, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you got $500 billion to gift a man, $500 million, The sentiment itself puts you in a losing position. It's not the amount of money. $500,000 is a lot of money to everybody. To everybody. I don't care who you are. If you have $500 billion, $500 million is still a lot. If I give anyone $500 million for free, just because you exist, a birthday gift says, I love you. I appreciate you and I'm happy that you exist. She gave him $500,000 for existing after this man has cheated on her repeatedly. But you disagree. Okay. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, she is the poster child for uh, strippers. I said in a video a couple weeks back that... Um, the ones, the women that everybody thinks are hoes, the strippers, the ladies of the night, the prostitutes, the women who are in sex work and the webcam girls and shout out to all you ladies, by the way. Um, but those are the good girls. You want a good woman? You want a workhorse? Go get you a stripper. Hmm. You want somebody to be 50-50 with you and grind with you? and build up some wealth, go get you a stripper. Go get you a prostitute. That's why prostitutes have pimps. Because pimps understand. If I can get into her mind through her ears, because I did that video, women fall in love with their ears. 
then he can do whatever he want to do with you. And you're going to sit there and take it. You would think that a stripper, you would think that a stripper would be on the top of the gaming list. The top of the list. You would think that these ladies is running through the money, getting to the bag. But when I tell you, it's like their stripper senses turn off as soon as the sun come up. It's 100% the truth. 100%. Y'all, let me adjust my wig. It's 100% the truth, y'all. Strippers are notorious for being pick me's. They don't want to be strippers. They want to be the wife. They want to have a family. They want to do all this. So they latch on to the first thing, smoking. They have zero gain. They know how to get that money in the dark. But soon as daylight comes, it's like somebody done unscrewed your head and took your brain completely out. Seriously. Like, ha strippers are the main ones not having no sex. They understand the power of Keep the PP. Get off the trampoline. That's how they get to the back at night. Soon as the sun come up, it's over with. It's over with. They lose their mind. You can tell that Cardi B ain't had no good PP in her entire life. This girl, how are you possibly a stripper and you so infatuated with this gorilla PP? And if you say he don't look like a gorilla, you lying. That boy look like a whole gorilla. He look like the gorilla family. Do y'all see that picture that's on the thumbnail? Straight gorilla. And you and love talk about daddy schlong and all this. Oh. <clears throat> Participation team. <laughs> hmm. She ain't had no good PP. She haven't. If you are that infatuated enough to buy this man Lamborghinis, you didn't bought him all. He had so much jewelry. His neck was slumped over sitting in a chair. When she gave him the money, y'all, his neck was hunked over like this. From all the jewelry and stuff you didn't bought him. She said it. I didn't bought you cars. I didn't bought you this. I didn't bought you that. Ain't nothing else in the world I can buy for you. You mean to tell me you didn't gave this man so much stuff that he doesn't even have a want or a need for anything from you, foolish, foolish, pure foolery. That's stupid. And then you're going to admit to it and show everybody, look what I got my man for his birthday, daddy long schlong. You can tell she ain't had no good PP. She hasn't. Because if that's the best you can do, get darn baby. <laughs> Whoa. A woman that didn't have some good pee pee, we, you ain't even gotta have, you ain't even gotta have time for that. I'm not gonna do it. I didn't have this before. You know, another good pee pee come along, you be like, boy, <laughs> I was doing this in 2001, but <laughs> okay, you're not impressed with all that stuff he doing, cause you didn't did it. Mm-hmm. Let's compare her to one of the mothers of the church, Miss mm, Bezos. Let's compare Cardi to her. We ain't never heard of her. Nobody even knew who this lady was. We knew she was his wife. But we never really heard of her. She's not out here pregnant and bragging about what a workhorse she is for her man. This man had you working like a slave, flying all over the world, rapping and singing, and you 19 months pregnant. You 19 months pregnant, throwing up sick on Instagram. Oh, I'm sick, y'all. I just can't do it no more. Working yourself into the ground for a, for a dirty, no good dog. You caught this man cheating before you got pregnant. You caught him cheating before you got married. You caught him cheating after you got married. You about to go to jail for this fool. She put a hit out on one of the girls he's sleeping with. And this girl just dropped the video on Instagram. Showing how he didn't slid in her DMs while she was asleep. Laying next to you, fool. You laying next to this man, huh? And he's sliding in somebody else's DM that you about to go to jail for. This girl didn't file charges on you for sending a hit out.
to be her tail. Cardi B just got just got out from the little court appearance. And he then slid in her DMs. And then you turn your foolish yellow ass around. Excuse me. I got a little hot. Excuse me. You turn your foolish self around and give him $500,000, but y'all feel like it's okay? But y'all feel like it's okay? You gonna say, well, she got the money to do it, so it's really not that big of a deal. I wouldn't have got his ass a blade of grass for his orangutan looking self. I wouldn't have bought him a blade of grass. Do you hear me? After you done sat up here and made me look like a fool, you done made me look like a whole fool. And I'm going to give you $500,000. Y'all ignorant. You stupid. You Excuse me. No, you're not. I said we're not going to. Y'all get upset when I say people is ignorant and stupid. But what else can you call this? You supposed to be came through dripping. Drip, drip. Came through dripping. Drip, drip. You supposed to be doing all that. Manny, all you really want to see is the money. You said you the one supposed to be getting the money. Ain't that your song? You the one supposed to be getting the money, but you giving it to him. How'd it work? How'd it work? Here's a question. Question of the day. What if I don't feel like the prize? Cardi B does not feel like the prize. Exactly. That's exactly. If you don't feel like the prize, you would think it's okay to do something like that. You would think it's okay to do something like that. Somebody, let me find that comment. Dang, Brandy. Brandy on it. Good job, love. Y'all, my moderators is... <laughs> They don't play. Don't block people. Don't block people, Brandy, because I want to see these comments. Just put them in timeout. They need to be blocked. <laughs> um, dang, I, some, she must have deleted her comment. But she said, what if I don't feel like the prize? That's exactly what is the problem. Do you, Cardi B ain't the most beautiful. She's cute. She's cute. But she got that whole exotic... Uh, I don't even know what she is, Dominican or Puerto Rican or whatever it is, um, kind of vibe to her. She could easily get another man. She could easily get a, another man, but she doesn't recognize her worth. She's basically paying, she's paying a man to be with her. Oh, goodness. She's paying a man to be with her. Sad, 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 sad. So, um, let's turn in your books. <laughs> let's turn in your books. I knew y'all know. Y'all know all these celebrities' business. Y'all know everything going on in the internet. But y'all, I knew y'all would know. I don't know. I don't spend that much time. I listen to the little songs when they come on the radio. If I like two or three of the songs, I'm getting the album. That's it. And I'm going to listen to those two or three songs, and I'm through with it. Y'all know these people's ins and outs. You know what her mama look like. You know where she from. You know, uh, did she braided her baby's hair like this on the last post? Y'all know everything about these celebrities. Y'all can tell me stuff about me. Y'all know stuff I said way back in 2017. Ain't been freestyling yet. And the post, I don't know how to go freestyling. Uh-huh, because you too busy clocking stats on somebody else's life. But to sit up and hear comments flying. Comments flying. About she's so stupid, she's so stupid, but you still in the house though. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. it's a sad day. Uh, turning your books to our favorite book, Stripperlations. <laughs> Stripperlations. I'm not turning on y'all, y'all turning on yourself. It, what? Um, Somebody said, it's it's about New Year's time. Please give some tips on how to raise self-worth and stop punching the clock. Um, okay, so Stripperlations, chapter four, verse one. Stripperlations, chapter four, verse one. Stripperlations, who got the word? Chapter four, verse one. Who got it? Miss Jana, four verse one. <laughs> Strip relations is a little tricky to spell it. All right. So, 
tribulations 4 verse 1 says, Lil' Kim would never. Lil' Kim would never. Never. Hmm. Would never. At all. Let's get into this word. Huh. Y'all new hoes is confused. Y'all confused. Y'all got the game all the way backwards. I don't know what happened from, I don't know when Biggie died. 1998 or 99 or something like that when Biggie died. I don't know when the man died, but he did. I don't know. I don't know what happened between that time and now. It ain't been that long. It hasn't. But in what, 20 years? 30, 20, 30 years or whatever, y'all have lost y'all's mind. 1997. Y'all have lost y'all's mind in a decade. I don't know who mamas didn't stop giving y'all game. Mamas never gave y'all game. Right, Trina. Trina never would. Trina. You supposed to be representing for the female rappers. There aren't very many female rappers, but Nicki Minaj... She would have did the same thing you did. All y'all are losing horribly. And then you got these little girls watching you doing the same thing. Y'all know the little girl that, that is in the meme where she like looking at, uh, you know, whatever. She, she's not, you know, where her hair is all messy and she's looking like or whatever. She gave her boyfriend a car, a Mercedes or something like that. She said, when I get rich, everybody around me going to get rich. You, they are setting the poorest example that you could ever set for young ladies. And it's sad. I mean, y'all laughing, but I'm being so, so, so serious. This is sad, y'all. If I had a daughter and she gave somebody $500,000, I'm going to tie her to the back of my car and drag her down the street. <laughs> Just I'm not going to tie her to the car. Just saying. Somebody needs to really whoop Cardi B's tail. Somebody need to whoop her tail for doing that because that makes no, that makes absolutely no sense. And then this is how ghetto, ghetto and new money is. Y'all want to, well, what about a football player? Can we date football players? Well, what about a rapper? I want to be an Instagram model, Mickey. Tell me how to be an Instagram model. You see how new money act? Do you think Jeff Bezos would give his wife an empty refrigerator full of money? What kind of party y'all at with an empty refrigerator? Really? So you gave him the refrigerator was empty. Do you have you do you think old money? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, y'all. Let's put her on the charger. Do you think old money and people that are used to having money would do ignorant stuff like this? Excuse me, one moment. Wait, y'all. Before we... Oh, oh Lord. There you are. Well, whatever. Y'all see my whole little thing. Anyway. Old money doesn't act like that. When you used to... When you're used to having money... When you're used to the finer things in life, you don't have to buy a $500 or five Lamborghinis. You don't have to buy, uh, you know, a million chains and all of that. This, this chain right here would suffice. This is a nice little piece of money. You don't have to have, just like, oh, and I posted on my Instagram on the story. And I put, uh, this is a quote too. <laughs> this is a quote too. New money is the equivalent of, of that little lotion booger. That little lotion booger is exactly how I feel about new money. It is the grossest freaking thing in the world. I hate it. I hate it. They were sitting at a basketball game with all of these. His diamond ring is bigger than, big as this. He got a diamond ring on his finger this big. For what? We know you got money, Gucci. We know your wife know how to flip them birds. We know she was working with the Colombians to make sure your money stayed up. We know. 
We know, cause ain't nobody buying them dang on waist trainers like that. You ain't made a hit since I don't know when, since you came out. So we know y'all over there flipping them birds. Who gives a rip? We don't care. We don't care. You ain't got to show everybody what you got. Don't you know the feds is watching? Stupid. Don't you know they watching? Your, your wife ain't flipping that many waist trainers and leg thigh trainers and stuff. Y'all look foolish. Y'all look so foolish doing that. Just because you have money don't have don't mean that you have to show people. I get so much flat. Well, we don't never see your money. We don't never see uh what you, you know, we don't never see you do, and you're not. You're never going to see how much money I got cuz I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Hello, but somebody with some money would be like, "Oh, dang, I wonder, oh, look at that little necklace she got on." Uh-huh. Cuz this right here probably costs more than most people pay in rent in one year. <clears throat> Sip, anyone? If you got money, y'all, you ain't got to show nobody. You don't have to show anybody. Period. Let's get back to it. If a man is the receiver in the relationship, you know that he, you can't receive and give at the same time. If I give you this bottle of lotion, love, if I give you some love, and I say, here, here you go, you can't be a giver and a receiver at the same time. You have to first receive it before you can turn around and give it. Let's take, I posted this on my Instagram. Um, follow me on Instagram at I am Michaela Pink, by the way. Okay. Um, I posted this. Kevin Hart and uh, the other comedian. Lord, I can't think of her name. I can't stand her as a comedian, but this little, uh, what's her name, y'all? If you follow me on Instagram, I can't, call, I can't think of the girl's name. Um, whatever her name is, I don't know. She, he gave this girl $300, right? Tiffany Haddish, Tiffany Haddish, and he gave her this $300 when she was poor, living out of her car, and blah, 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 blah. She has spent her whole entire career trying to pay this man back, but the alpha that we know Mr. Kevin Hart is, he may be little, but that man is the alpha to, the, to his heart. Kevin Hart to his heart, you get it? He is an alpha. He refuses to take this money back from this lady. Why? Because I'm the giver. You get it? A man who understands his role will never be able to receive from a woman. It's emasculating. She is doing it over and over and over thinking that she's doing him a favor, but you're not a man, baby. Wear your vagina, ladies. Wear it. If you have one, wear it. Wear it. Stop trying to be a man. Stop trying to pay this man back. She gave you $300 when he had $300,000. Hello? You don't owe a man nothing. He saw you struggling. I'm going to help you out. That's all it was. That's all it was. And she like, no, I would never. Mm -mm -mm, I would never. I would never. Come on. Be for real. Be for real, y'all. A man understands his role. But it's when a woman tries to... Um, Take his role from him. Share his role with him. That's when there are problems. Do you see men out here? Well, let me take it back. We're about to go into 2020. But there are not very many men who would trade places with women. There are some. And they are in our transgender community. Um, so I'm not speaking to this sector of people. But most men would never trade places with a woman. They don't want to walk around having menstrual cycles. They don't want to carry babies. They don't want to lactate. They don't want to do any of that. They don't. Men want to be men. They might get tired of having to go to work and pay all the bills and stuff, but they do it. They do not want to trade places with women. So why? Are there so many women who want to share the role that men naturally are supposed to play? Why? 
I'm going to tell you why. They do it because they know you will allow it. When you give to a man, it says, I'm going to help you. I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to be your ride or die. That's what it says. It says that no matter what you do, I'll be there. I'm going to help you build yourself up. And when you do that, you take his responsibility away from him and you put your responsibilities and his responsibilities on your shoulders. It's a losing game. It's a losing game. So I say, if a man becomes a receiver in the relationship, he will never be a giver to you. Never. I have never seen an instance where this worked out. And I don't think that I will anytime soon. <laughs> Sharika, who is Sharika? So, um, I'm Michaela Pink. If you would like information about the Pink Print Academy, visit www.pinkprintacademy.com. Um, for information on my free ebooks for my um, everything involving Michaela Pink in the description below. If you can give me an example of a woman who has successfully become the giver in her relationship, put it in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. If you agree, put that in the comments. Whatever your comment, leave it. I'm Michaela Pink and that's what I think.